Hello kids, let's start with our evil two subject, lesson number 5, Evolution of Mankind. Now, let us start. In the previous lesson, we learned that the primitive man evolved from apes. Can you see the picture? Yes. The next step for humans was learning to use their hands effectively to make tools. The species of humans who could use their hands skillfully is known as the skilled human. The first evidence of this species was found in the border region between Tanzania and Kenya in the continent of Africa. Now, the scientist Louis Leakey who discovered this species named it Homo habilis because beside their fossil remains he found some tools made by them. What is the meaning of fossil remains? The remains of or impression of a prehistoric plant or animal found in rock. Homo erectus marks an important stage in human history. Erectus means the one who stands erect, hence the name Homo erectus. So they are known as Homo erectus. Compared to Homo habilis, he had a more developed brain. Humans of the Homo erectus species lived in groups. Having seen wildfire, humans knew about fire, a large destructive fire that spreads quickly in forest. It is likely that Homo erectus had learned the technique of pitching the burning branches of trees to use that fire. Pitching means collecting. So, now what they did? During his time, most of the earth was covered with ice sheets. Ice sheets means thick layer of ice. Therefore, the climate was extremely cold. Homo erectus could survive in that extremely cold climate because he had learned to use fire. However, he had not yet mastered means to have complete knowledge, the technique of making fire. Tools made by the Homo erectus were more developed and symmetrical compared to those made by Homo habilis. Symmetrical means made of exactly similar parts. Homo erectus made tools like the hand axe. Can you see? Remains of Homo erectus have been found along with his tools in the continents of Africa, Asia and Europe. Homo neanderthalensis. Let us see about them. One more stage of development in human evolution is Homo neanderthalensis. We, he was physically big and strong. He is commonly known as the Neanderthal man because his remains were first found at Neanderthal, a place in Germany. His brain was more developed than that of Homo erectus. The Neanderthals primarily lived in caves. They made tools out of big pebbles as well as from the flakes scrapped off from them. Such tools were fixed on a bone or wooden shaft to make weapons like spear, axe, etc. Shaft means stick or rod. Now, the Neanderthals hunted big animals. They used scrappers made from stone flakes to scrap meat from the hide of dead animals. They used leather clothing. They were mainly meat eaters. They ate meat roasted on fire. They knew the art of making fire by rubbing sticks of hard wood on each other or by striking one flint stone on another to obtain sparks. So, Homo sapiens is the name used for humans that were more advanced than the Neanderthals. Homo sapiens means intelligent or intellectual man. We shall learn more about him later. 
the Neanderthals and the Homo sapiens were neighbors for some time in Europe. It is believed that due to reasons like their conflict means quarrel with Homo sapiens and inability to adapt to environmental changes, the Neanderthals became extinct. Inability to adapt means unable to adjust. Yes, and extinct means to die or disappear. On the basis of C14 dating, it is estimated that the Neanderthals became extinct about 30,000 years ago. The human species that was more intelligent than any of the earlier species were named Homo sapiens. In Europe, Homo sapiens is also known as Cro-Magnon man. Their remains have been found in the continents of Europe, Asia and Africa. Homo sapiens made different kinds of tools and implements to suit the task they needed to do. Implements means weapons. They used to make stone blades and fix them in grooves and notches. Groove means a long narrow cut. Notches means a gap made in wood or bone handles. Homo sapiens have evolved to the stage of having a full developed larynx which means the voice box in neck region which could produce a range of sounds with subtle means little differences. Their jaws and the muscles inside the mouth were well developed and the tongue was flexible that means easily movable hence homo sapiens could use them to produce a variety of sounds and modulate means to make changes his voice the way he liked using his imagination he could give names to the different things he saw and could put his thoughts and feelings into words Using these words, he could speak and communicate. In short, he had a well-developed language system. He could draw pictures on the basis of actual observation as well as imagination. He even began to make artistic objects. That is why he has been named Homo sapiens example, intelligent man or thinking man. We, the modern humans, are Homo sapiens sapiens. The appearance and health characteristics of human beings indicate their similarity to their ancestors. Ancestors means forefathers. This is known as heredity. What does it mean? Genetics is a science that studies heredity. Characters transferred from one generation to another. So, genetic research has shown that we have inherited some traits of the Neanderthal man. Thus, it can be said that the Neanderthal man and Homo sapiens are both ancestors of the modern humans. Around 11,000 or 10,000 BC, Homo sapiens sapiens developed the technique of cultivating land and keeping animals. Cultivating land means growing crops in field. The change lifestyle and diet affected the appearance of humans. Their body and face grew smaller than they had been in the earlier generations. The name Homo sapiens sapiens reflects their intellectual and cultural rather than their physical powers. Physical power means fighting ability in battle. All animals must necessarily meet their basic need for food. However, modern humans are not satisfied with only doing that much. Through their efforts to enrich their lives using their creativity, enrich means to improve intelligence and skills. 
human beings acquired a culture and continue to develop it ability to create something new so the technological and cultural progress achieved by modern humans after the beginning of agriculture and domestication of animals have been extremely rapid